Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Sorry it took so long. I had to scarf up cereal and send out those live alerts and, I don't know, I just feel a little bit slow today, but I'm here, so... Yay, I guess. <laughs> Hello, chat. Welcome. It's good to see you, Tomato. As well as Bingo. Always so good to see you. Arashi is late. Only by, like... I mean, I just start on time. For, like, the stream. But I'd say I am five minutes slower compared to usual getting onto the in-game screen. <laughs> But hey, at least you at least you've got starting soon screen music now, so that's a plus. <laughs> and uh in case you're ever curious about it, it is from Heartbound. Has some good tracks. As for what I'm going to do today in Final Fantasy XIV, I have no idea. I'm just... I'm just gonna do. Also! Uh, the Moogle event is over. It has been over for like three days now. <laughs> I didn't get to 20 MGP flat cards. But, I mean... I I think I've I've been going through it for like the past few days, <laughs> and, and besides, I mean I could have reached the goal maybe, but I chose to get like a couple other things because I I just suddenly got like cosplay ideas, <laughs> and I decided to get some time warm maps as well, but. One thing about uh, MGP plat cards is that they're not necessarily needed for progress because you can always earn MGP here in the gold saucer. Yeah, part one may be over. But yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. The little ladies' day and Easter holiday event. Um, quick question. Where, where is that starting as? In Limsa or Gridania? Alda? I have no idea where it's starting at, so... If you know, pl uh, feel free to let me know. Also, I should probably take care of crafter stuff while I'm... It's sort of in the vicinity of Old Awe. Because, <laughs> uh... By turn by turning in like you know required crafted stuff, you'll get XP towards your crafters and honestly that's like my best way to like level up my stuff right now. How's everyone been? <laughs> uh, I've been busy this week, and, and the reason why I'm not playing this game on Friday this week like I I been usually trying to do it is because I am uh, I, I gotta help my dad with with turning on his water for his apartment it's, I I know it's been like said out loud already but uh <laughs> my, my, my parents are uh, they're splitting I think that's it's better to be blunt about it so, I just got to help a little bit with the transition, I guess. <laughs> so, fr Friday's just going to be busy. And earlier this week, uh, I, was, uh, I was also getting the paperwork. So, the water could be turned on for Friday. <laughs> Uh, I think there was also something else I, I had to do. Princess Quest is in Old Gridania at the theater and Easter event. It starts next next week and in the same theater? Okay. 
<laughs> Thank you for the hug, tomato. Appreciate it. I, I I've been trying to, you know, f just fight for my own well-being. I guess. Do I need an initiate's culinary knife? Well, I need to look into my uh, armory chest. I need to get rid of that. Uh, alright. Yeah, I'll just move it. Never mind. I love how I just can't move stuff while I'm occupied. I mean, it sort of makes sense. Like, your your hands are full. Uh, wait, no. It's in the offhand, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, can, I can hand over my initiate's culinary knife. I don't need it. Wait, no. Wait, no. I do need it. It's level 24, it's the thing upgraded from that, from that recruit's culinary knife. Yeah, I hope, I hope everything's gonna turn out alright. Just an awkward period in my life. I mean, on the other hand, at the very least, you know, my recent therapy session, I've learned some things about myself and... Why I am the way I am. <laughs> I, I learned I had a, I have another disorder, so <laughs> that's fun. But it also explains a lot of how I feel, like why I'm always feeling so sluggish, or why I'm so pale, or why I'm so, you know, this or that. It's just, it's just nice to have answers because that means I can concentrate on the issues a little bit more intimately <laughs> because I know what's the root cause and what I, what I need to do. Yeah, answers are always good. Hello, Eric. Welcome in. How has been your day? Uh, I, mean, I could fork over the, uh, over the initiate's culinary knife. I can just get myself another one. Not big deal. Uh, your day has been a day. Oh, long day. It sounds like. <laughs> well, about me, I uh woke up at roughly like ten o'clock. I think. I did take a shower. And... I did try to eat as much of my cereal as possible. Right before stream. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing. Another thing. Uh, I was talking to uh, Bingo about this last night, but... I'm, I'm gonna be getting... Uh, a leverless, you know, input device or controller, whatever you pronounce, uh, you, you call it. Um, and that's thanks to you guys. Uh, supporting me. At least a little bit financially. What, what that, um... Y you've seen, like, how- you've seen, like, arcade machines, right? It, like, ones with fighting- fighting games and stuff. Or, like, arcade machines in general. Well, it, it's- the, the leverless input thing is, it's basically an ar arcade like button thing, but without the, without the lever. <laughs> I probably explained this so poorly, but yeah, it's, it's basically, yeah, b I, Bingo will be able to <laughs> explain it better. He's, he's dealt with this stuff more. Yeah, it's a controller for fighting game that functions similar to to a keyboard. And, um... I, I've tried playing... Uh, fighting games with, with my Xbox controller, but it, it just feels so awkward to me. And I play most games with... With mouse and keyboard. Like, a great majority of things. Like, I'd say, like, 90... 7%, maybe 98% of games. 
Yeah, leverless input device is exactly what it sounds like. It, it, it's... It, yeah, it's essentially like a, a controller just without the lever or, you know, the arcade stick. It's all buttons, essentially. And, I, yeah, like Bingo says, it's it's similar to keyboard. Sort of. Could just be keyboard. <laughs> it's not exactly like a keyboard, but it's similar to it. It could, you know, with a function. <laughs> uh, how easy or hard is this stuff gonna be? Leather ash log. Be honest, I feel like buying this stuff. But at the same time, like, look at the XP you can get from this. Imagine that. But, like... <sighs> you, you get extra XP and seals from higher quality items. The bot's still working? A, hey, let's go. Oh yeah, uh, I'm thinking instead of like the usual like long hours I do for Final Fantasy streams, I think I might ha uh, shave off a couple hours because my AHD brain needs to make sure that I don't try to avoid responsibilities around the house. <laughs> because I've been kind of Avoiding them. Because it's not just like seeing it as like a couple simple tasks, right? It's like seeing it as like multiple within the same one. And it, it, it can be seen as pretty tedious very fast. Like doing the laundry. It, it, like a normal person would say, oh, it's just doing the laundry. No, 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 no. My brain is like, wait. I got I gotta take out the stuff from the laundry bath uh, the the dirty laundry uh, hamper. I gotta I gotta sort them into the piles. Then I gotta bring it downstairs. I gotta shove it into the in the into the uh, washer. Then I gotta put the soap in and then maybe fabric softener. Push the button. Then try not to forget about it several hours later and then throw it into the dryer and then hit that button and then putting it into the laundry basket with the clean clothes and then bring it upstairs. Oh, wait, I gotta uh, empty my current laundry basket that's in my room. <laughs> it just keeps going on and on. <laughs> you see what I mean? Why, why do you think I avoid stuff so much? <laughs> yeah, it's never just doing the laundry. Just like, oh, just like it never was like, you know, just clean the meat department. It, it, it's, it's multiple tasks that falls under do this thing. And, and when you think it's like, oh, I just listed all these like laundry tasks. Then it goes to, oh, wait, my room's a mess. I gotta clean up the stuff off the floor. Oh wait, I forgot the dust. I need to do that. I need to I need to pledge and make sure the wood's all shiny. I need the Windex because the windows are looking icky. I also need to take care of the mirror because it's looking a little bit dirty. Oh, and I gotta clean off my my dresser and that other dresser and my desk and yeah. <laughs> oh, your 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 room's a mess, Eric. My my dude, you have not seen my sister's room. It is a death trap. I'm not joking. Like when dishes surface from her room and end up in the sink, a lot of the time there's mold, which is gross. <laughs> I mean, I've forgotten dishes in my room for a few days, but like it's very rare that I ever let it get to the mold state. That's just, Gross. Ugh. Dude. Doing literally anything with ADHD of depression is never fun. Oh, oh yeah. It's like it's like trying to push a car uphill. Good luck. 
Never leave dishes in your room? Uh, that's fair. But since I'm at my desk a lot, I, I just tend to eat my stuff at my desk. Ugh, Oh, do I... Steel... Is there a steel ingot? Yes, there is. Oh, I need bomb ash and iron ore. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, you don't even need ADHD. Uh, I mean, depression alone is, sucks, but... <laughs> It, it, it sucks even more when, like, you know, there's also multiple things compounded with that depression. It doesn't have to be ADHD alone. It's, like, not the only thing. Because multiple things can go into depression or be uh, affecting it. Like, for example, like an eating disorder, like if you don't, if you don't get, you know, proper stuff in your system, you're going to feel like trash and depressed, depressy spaghetti all the time. And, or on top of that, you could have like, I don't know, family issues going on too. <laughs> My earrings are bothering me a little bit. <laughs> you know how I mentioned that, like, I took a shower this morning? Like, before before stream? The towel is still on my head. <laughs> because my, my hair is dripping wet. <laughs> yeah, bad stuff loves compounding with the other bad stuff. Misery loves company, as the saying goes. Okay, I need to murder... Bombs, and I need to get iron ore. I also need to get lenses. I think I can get those from, like, the Goldsmith Guild. I want to get the delicious XP. Time to make the shopping list. Again. You don't want misery, though? Fair. Fair. I don't think anyone enjoys misery. It just sucks. I don't know, unless you're like a masochist and love pain and suffering. Where do I find that iron ore again? I think it's- Oh yeah, it's by Copper Bell Mines. Oh, and that's where some bombs are too. So I can get that- I, I can get everything in that same area. I, I hope I'm doing alright. Uh... I I'm doing okay-ish. Some days are better than others, but... Let's say thanks to Bingo helping me find a, a, a decent leverless input device. I, I'm i now looking forward to getting said item. We take okay. Yeah. I mean, I have to admit, I'm not in like high spirits, but like, I, 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 I felt worse. How do I get a hold of linen? Linen yarn. I need to get flax. My botanist is not leveled up there yet. <laughs> uh.
Uh, I, I'll just buy that one. Guilty Gear streams when? <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Lennon Turban. It is a level 35 Disciple of War item. I think I can make an engraved leather grimoire. Fine. I just need to get ash logs. I think I'm okay with the leather for now. You've got to be Kimmy. I just got rid of the enchanted copper ink. Bah! <sighs> you got a pre roll ad about company you used to work at. That was interesting. <laughs> a, a lot of ads tend to be dependent on your location and stuff, so. That, that might play a, a hand in that. Tinted copper ink, maple log, log. Yeah, it's pretty much what I need for this one. If by location you mean in Canada, then yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could also apply to, like, maybe province. The company operates nationwide. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, that's probably it, then. Because I know some ads like to track to your location a little bit. Which is annoying. The... Braved leather grimoire. Oh yeah, I wanna double check. I need I need beastkin blood. It would be so nice if I'm if I had a home on Diabolos, because it's not necessarily for any other reason other than to let my creative inner inner artist be happy. But also because you you also get house store housing storage with it, so that means. I, I, I not only have my basic inventory that's, like, down here behind me, and I, I mean, not just my inventory, but also it would give me something else other than my chocobo saddlebag to shove things into. <sighs> Excuse me. I like what you always do Sun lemon. Okay, can be found in Bent Branch. I think the roast, roastlet oyster is something found in ocean fishing. Oh, you gotta go renew some stuff? That's all good, my dude. I don't know if I want to do the raw oyster. Good skin breaches. Ha! 
I kept the Algert leather, which means I can craft these. Take that, game. Ha! Oh, I reminded you of important stuff. That's, I, I well, I, I am happy to have reminded you of important stuff because important stuff shall not be forgotten. <laughs> or else you, you're gonna be toast otherwise, right? Uh, iron septons. I need iron for that and bronze. Yeah, I need iron for it. Oh, thank you, Winter. Thank you for taking care of the bot. Uh, oh! If it gets forgotten, you won't be able to drive. <laughs> yeah, be, be careful, Eric. Yeah, stay safe. Ingots. I need to get hard leather though. Feathered harpoon. I can get all these items. It's just gonna be consuming, time consuming. You don't know what happens if you need a hospital without your health card? Probably gonna have to pay a little bit. Make a feathered harpoon. <laughs> the name gives me that vibe. Eh, honestly, I never, never feel bad for banning bots. Oh, there's three of them. Wait, no. Hold on a sec. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, I think it's one, two, three, four. I think you banned four. Yeah, just by the name. <laughs> well, you humbled them. Oh yeah, I should see what's under provisioning. Fire rock, lavender, and... Whatever that thing is. No, chat is clean. Yes. Sheesh, that's like five, six bots that you banned right there. Good on you, honestly. Chat. 
Cue the broom swooping with the chain whistling. <laughs> yeah, that person right there has got you covered. You see that Lalafell right there? They're always there. Always. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, no. <laughs> Jimmy, do not tempt Winter. Winter will legit wreck you. <laughs> Yeah, she will. She doesn't make empty threats. I have a similar item to this in Animal Crossing New Horizons. But you've broken no rules? Supposedly. I have skills, a, a special set of skills, skills that cannot be tested. Yeah, I can tell you just woke up too. <laughs> oh, winter. As long as you guys aren't abu abusing your, your mod privileges, I don't care. Because I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I've timed people out like every once in a while just to have good fun. Yeah, just a little bit in timeout corner. <laughs> Imagine just waking up, huh? Aren't you special? Oh, hi, Dreadwing. Quap, 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 quap. You'll never take me alive. I refuse to go to Rust. Ma'am, I had class at 8.30 this morning. <laughs> Which is fair, to be honest. <laughs> I wanted to mess with you a little bit. Uh, okay. I think it's copper and tin to make bronze, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. You're shaking out your fluff, Sophie. Uh... Animal glue. Uh, is a hatching tie event going on? I know it's the little lady stuff is because Tomato told me. I think the Easter stuff, according to Tomato, is going to be happening next week. Also, happy Pie Day, everybody! <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. I uh, a few days ago, I sent. I I sent um, a pie pie to. Senpai through the Animal Crossing New Horizons mail. <laughs> I, 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 I sent some sort of like message that's like, you know, like a pickup line of some sort that's kind of clever. And it's an original one too. I can't remember what exactly I wrote, but maybe she'll be able to tell you <laughs> if she's seen it. Due to technical error, your driver's license renewal was not successful. Oh, lovely. Ah, that must be fun. Huh. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, a little Ladies' Day and Hatching Tide. Is there anything else I need? At least that I can purchase, that is. I oh, will admit, buying stuff from vendors does save time. <laughs> See, I need to... I think I need to go get a lens from Goldsmith Field. You don't want to go in person? Dude, I feel you. I, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't like going to do stuff unless I need to. Although, unironically... Whenever I need to, like, get something important done, I'd rather just, like, directly talk to somebody rather than going through, like, 5 million pages on the internet just to get something done and filled out. I don't know, it's just, it feels like things go faster. You'd rather do the pages, that's fair. Yeah, higher end of things, it gets expensive. <laughs> I have no market board to consider, so regardless, I'm going to be putting in blood, sweat, and tears just to get craft stuff done. I don't mind going for the stuff, it's just the time, it kills me sometimes. <sighs> yeah, you hate interacting with people? I mean, me too. I have, like, the worst social anxiety on the face of the planet. Uh, I do need to get reskin blood. Well. And ash lumber. Yeah, I'd say the worst part about social anxiety is, like, the in initial interaction with people. If someone proves to be nice enough, though, it, it definitely makes things a little bit easier on our conscience. Yeah, I still try to avoid people. I, I, I understand. I, I use this as a common example. And whenever I'm going shopping in, like, Walmart... If I got items to check out, I prefer to take the self-checkout. Unless it's, like, something, like, that requires, like, a person, such as, like, fireworks or, or alcohol. <laughs> you'll, you'll save both of us from awkward interaction with you. I, honestly, I will say, whenever you have, like, a, a person with you, like, person you know you can trust, it makes social interactions so much easier. Because, y you know, you've got a person that can back you up. You still love going through cashier lane? Uh, I don't mind it if I don't, if I need to. Their glass lens. I think I need to go to the Alchemist Guild to get Beastkin blood, if I'm not mistaken. It's good that you have a support person with social interactions at times, Winter. I'm happy for you. That was back when you worked at a grocery store, so you knew a handful of the cashier staff fair. I will say, though, uh, one thing about, like, checking out stuff, you, you don't really have to talk to the cashier that much. You really don't have to. 
It can be just like bare minimum of like how much or it I'd prefer to like pay in in debit or whatever. You don't really have to interact all that much if you don't want to. And last night you didn't really talk to the cashier, but like two years ago you you struck up a conversation with many of them. It's fine. That's totally fine. Sometimes you're feeling it, sometimes you don't. You had work in common with them, fair. <laughs> I really don't know why I get anxiety over it, but it's there. I have, I'll have social anxiety whenever, if, and when I meet anyone. Me. <laughs> Me. I'll be awkward, doesn't matter if we've been friends for two years, I will be awkward around you at first, and silent, until I deem it safe socially. Brain is just dumb. <laughs> Spring essentially just started, and this will be the third straight day of storms. What, like... IRL too? We're like, in-game. Yeah, I get you, Eric. IRL. Oh, I see. It, it's been surprisingly... Not very rainy here. <laughs> Like, it's been, like, cold in the mornings, but then it gets to, like, a kind of decent afternoon. You think you have a, a defective brain with social interaction, but... <laughs> Honestly, fair. Okay, now to teleport the bent branch. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could have up to five registered favorite destinations instead of three. Bleh. Yeah, it, it takes time. I mean, not just to get to know somebody, but also to get comfortable with them. I want to eat some of my triscuits. Yeah, fine line of normal and what what in the world's going on? Ah <laughs> eh? Wasn't quite what I'm looking for, but... What is you... What is... Use... What is this used in? <gasps> Lentils and chestnuts! Oh...
<laughs> the person you're closest to even told you, I don't want to ever walk around your brain because I know what darkness is in there. <laughs> that still did out of curiosity. I see. Yeah, I imagine us for like us indoor folk being close to anybody. <laughs> Glory be soup. <laughs> I got some faded copies. Of things. Does it need this? Oh, you may need to go in person. Hmm. Dude, I ate, like, breakfast a couple hours ago, and I'm still kind of peckish. Oh no, Winter, please, no. Actually, I think I lucked out. Reason being is because I know he's streaming right now. <laughs> mm. Nah, it's not that deep, Eric. <laughs> no, Winter, no. I don't need you instigating. <laughs> I'll pay you on cookies to shut up. <laughs> I'll even offer that in exchange for not telling him that, I'll help you cause some chaos elsewhere. Thank you, Eric. Happy lurking. And good luck with what you gotta do, okay? Try not to stress too much. Am I plenty able to instigate on my own without helping mods and regulars? Yeah, but it's more fun when you get to do it with people. <laughs> Hey, Winter, you know that list you gave me? Choose one thing. Only one. One thing. Oh, how is it? I need to continue going this way. One thing. And I'm not budging. 
Hello, Cyan. How's the grind? Just getting started on it, basically. Excuse me while I'm eating Triscuits. <laughs> I'll do your redeem. In a hot minute. I'm not budging either, Winter. Ah, uh, okay. Feel free to mark the redeem off the list in case. Mean deployed in the Discord. Oh boy. You and your memes, Dreadwing. Redeem was marked off. Good. I have such good mods. I wonder why Scotch is thumping. He's brought inside because, uh, the, a rabbit, he got brought inside because I, I don't know how he managed it, but he, he got, like, uh, some sort of injury around his neck area, which the, the vet said it looked like to be, like, some sort of, like, scratch. So, um... Yeah, a big reason why I'm not planning on streaming as long today as I'd like to is because I need to take care of him and also apply the ointment that got prescribed. Also, try to deal with my laundry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he... You want, you want them to remake Red Dead uh, 1. Hmm. Fair. It seems to be a good game. I don't know if I want to get into it or not, though. I can't exactly afford to get into it anyways. Hmm, what's up, Winter? Has some adult themes in it and everything's here and there. I, I can handle, like, you know, like, heavy topics here and there. And it depends on, like, what adult themes we're talking about. Oh. <laughs> There's one encounter everyone tries to avoid. T uh, taking Arthur 2 in the swamp because of this place. Okay. Maybe it's all for me then, if it's... 
as bad as you're implying it. You can't say because it's tricking what's implied for people. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, then. <laughs> I think that's all of the gathering stuff I need. Except for the iron and uh, the copper sand. Oh, and fire rock in addition to lavender. Hey, I forgot about that. <sighs> Around bent branch. So, how lovely. I can just walk there. Or run. <laughs> oh, I'm almost level 15. That's cool. Yeet! Jump the fence. Hidden items. In the course of gathering, disciples of the land will occasionally come across hidden items. A hidden item may also be classified as rare. I Meaning you can only you can obtain only one before it disappears from the gathering window. Abilities that increase the number of items obtained during a single gathering attempt have no effect on rare items. Oh, lovely. Well, I mean, I could try for it. Yay. <laughs> you don't see anything, but it's just behavior after it happens. Oh, what implies. Nobody knew until someone brought it up and then everyone figured it out. Oh. It's not super inappropriate, but it's more for mature players and audience. I see. Oh, if you play, you'll show a little bit because the story's so good. Oh, I appreciate that. What's that sound? What? Yeah, I, I actually... Uh, for games, whenever I am curious about one... But, I don't necessarily want to, like, buy the game blindly. What I like to do is, like, watch a little bit of someone else playing it to see... See what kind of what it's like. And get a feel for what the game is, uh, game is. And I, I mean, I also do a little bit of res my own research, but it, it's like part of like how I help myself get a feel for something. In a little over an hour, it will be pi day, pi hour, p.m. <laughs> Actually, it's one twelve right now for me. Three point one four three. So three fourteen, I think would reflect Pi Day. <laughs> Wind light seeds. What? Okay. I 
and you're skipped. <laughs> I see. You love Red Dead 2 so much. <laughs> yeah, because the, the characters... Actually, I've noticed about Red Dead characters having that you know, human element aspect to them, which is really nice to see and feel. Because not only does it make them more relatable, but it also makes them better overall as characters. Because humanity comes in many, many different shades. Level 16. Ooh, look at that. A much better tree whisper. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur is like, wait, those were real to like dinosaur stuff. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Late 1800s, I see. And it, it didn't believe them until scientists showed them. Fair enough. Another reason why I really would like my own home on this game is that way I can like plant stuff for my chocobo. <laughs> Big Google. Okay, I found the lavender. I need to find the fire rock. Upper Lenosha. Okay. Ye school. Ah, gotta love trying to find stuff. Let's go, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Ew. 
it would be a disservice if I didn't name this Mount Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> I'm not really in love with this music, though. Not really my thing. Oh, lovely. I always, like, half the time I end up joining in the middle of a fate. <laughs> Oh, cool, level 26. <laughs> mm, this music makes me want to play some Fire Emblem. Alright, that's 10 fire rocks. I think that's all we need from that. Uh, just trying to think. Oh yeah, copper bell mines. Uh, Thanalan. Yeah, I think it was here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. I'm almost afraid to take this towel off my head because I know that, like, when hair dries in a towel, it can get a little crazy. <laughs> my solution is usually to just, like, brush it and then flat iron it out. Copper sand. They seem to be handling themselves pretty good. Usually if I see someone struggling a bit, I... I switched to my conjurer for like a hot second or my red mage. <laughs> I think 20 should be enough. Uh, 20 copper sand. Oh yeah, I need to beat the ever-loving snot out of some bombs. That's after I go and get some iron ore. <laughs> I always somehow end up back here. An eye for quantity, minor one. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm 
Come here, mineral deposit. Oh yeah, um... I know I've tried playing fighting games on stream before, but would you guys be interested in a little bit of it? And just helping me learn? It, it, you, know, you don't have to have, like, any fighting game knowledge, necessarily. Or know how to play. Ugh. If money wasn't an issue, I'd also get Tekken 8 because... Ooh boy, Tekken gets me nostalgic. I, I mentioned at one point in the past, I, I believe, that I remember... I remember one time when I, I was uh, fairly young that my family uh, went to a pizza shop, I think? Some sort of like s small restaurant. I think it. I think it was a pizza shop. And they had a Tekken arcade machine in there. I'm not sure which Tekken it was. All I remember is that it had uh, the kangaroo and the velociraptor in there. <laughs> And even though I never really got exposed to m much of any fighting games in my childhood, I did get exposed to it at least, like, once. <laughs> On top of that, I did play a smidge of, uh, Super Smash Bros. with... With some people in high school. I wasn't, like, super into it, but I, I did play a little bit. But I never, like, really played fighting games, like, consistently throughout my years <laughs> of living. But I, I will say, though... I definitely have a fascination with it. At least nowadays. And I, I actually... Whenever I want to, like, watch a video on YouTube, when I'm doing stuff like this, it, it tends to be, like, a, a fighting game video. I, I like to watch um, tournaments because they're usually, like, their their VODs are usually at least, like, a, an hour or two long. On top of that, I just think it's so cool to watch, like, very skilled people play it. Sometimes it could be- I could be watching Sh Guilty Gear Strive, sometimes I could be watching King of Fighters 15, 13. I mean, I've watched a little bit of, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy versus Uprising. And, uh, I- I think I- at one point I watched, like, a smidge of Idol Showdown. <clears throat> Game, the silence is deafening. Please give me music. <laughs> Is, th is 85 pieces of iron ore okay? Because I know there's like multiple things that require iron ore. I'd just rather be safe than sorry. Hmm. 
new event in other lane. I see. Combat part of the event has six maps. The first map is level 17 through 20. Uh, taking a group is level 91 to 125. What? Sheesh. Azure Lane has levels that extend past 100. That's nuts. Well, good luck to you. <laughs> There's no overkill, only open fire and reloading. <laughs> the, the deposits were hiding from me. And one on the other side. Uh, I also love mining. All right, a uh, hundred and eleven iron ore. Some bosses have a multiplier on their health bar in some games. Oh, like... Um... <sighs> an example. Like, I, I know, like, modifiers, like... Can, can exist on uh, bosses. Like, for example, in certain difficulties in Remnant 2... You're gonna have a boss that uh, can teleport around and stuff, or drain your health and replenish theirs, you know, so on and so forth. The basic attacks of your group are taking off entire multipliers. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Give me bomb ash, please. Let's see, each time you, you clear the health bar, it changes to... Changes color. So, like, different phases. Essentially. Different phases have different amounts of health. Because I know that can be the case for some. No bomb ash? Seriously? Hundred bars? You kidding me? Are you trying to play Dark Souls or something without playing Dark Souls? Ah <laughs> uh, yes, thanks for the tin ore that I oh so need. Now I have a hundred tin ore though. <laughs> Maybe I should go out to Sigoli Desert, I think. Yeah, there's bombs that linger around that processing place. <laughs> 
I know, it was so descriptive. But I, I'd rather straight, uh, just like only fight the bombs rather than drawing the ire of a, a Koblen or whatever. Yeah, th this place right here. I have so much grilled carp. <laughs> You're not that great at souls burns. Fair enough. I'm not exactly amazing at them either, but that's because I don't usually play them. <laughs> Reminds me of one thing though, is that how everybody wants Bloodborne on uh, something other than it's than the console is originally released on. Not just that, but like have 60 FPS and not just 30. <laughs> you do watch Soulsborne renders occasionally. That's perfectly okay. Okay, come here, smoke bomb. I only have five bomb ash. Oh, including the holder of the world's first uh oh yeah, you 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 mentioned it the other day, I remember. I think you said that they tried doing stuff with a saxophone. Wait, I gotta escort this idiot? Fine. He's since been working out more games and more categories. More than just tried. Oh. Of course. Die. Look at the sky waddle. <laughs> I am fortunate to have you by my side. I'm not really doing much. <laughs> All great runes. Hitless. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I remember. I'm not trying to hit the fire sprite. You gotta be kidding me. That's uh no, they will not leave us be. Go away. SP is pretty much a soul's worm. Yay. <laughs> Is five bomb ash all I really need? I actually think so. Alright then. I think I hit I, I hit everything on the list. Now I just gotta craft. Yay! <laughs> Time to go to my crafting corner. That is a dapper looking weapon for Red Mage. I like it. Killer instinct. That sounds scary. <laughs> I oh yeah, I need to... I think I'll have my lower level... Um, Raptor, do it. Waste not. HMS glow worm. <laughs>
There we go. Oh yeah, I need to put some of this in the chocobo saddlebag. I gotta sort out my stuff. <laughs> I can't wait to get rid of some of this material. <laughs> um. Kind of thinking of like auto crafting. Synthesis. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> they had boats, I see. Oh, cool. Spirit bond with the voice of justice complete. Yes, I don't care about that. <laughs> Yay, got a high quality one. Try messing with my capture card again to see if there's anything I can do with it or if I have to get a new one. Oh, I see. As your lanes, interactions, and voice lines end up encouraging research into the real world versions of the ships. Okay, that's kind of cool, but like, you know. Games 
have hidden like interesting tidbits of hist history in them. Not just like you know make believe stuff, but like honestly, well, I, I think it's cool in general when real life elements are used or or are drawn upon as inspiration. Oh, my stuff needs repaired a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Ships that fought each other in the war that actually have special interactions in Azure Lane. I like that attention to detail. That's cool. <laughs> Decide. If IJN Taiho is absolutely terrified of USS Albacore for such re a reason. Oh. Which country is? Taiho linked to because I, I don't know all like I, I know HMS is, is like linked to uh, to Britain right because you know his, his majesty's ships or or her majesty's ships depending on situation and, and I know USS is is ours in the US here but I, I don't really know much aside from those two. <laughs> I'm not really well versed in ship lingo. IJN is Japan, I see. I suppose the JN part is a dead giveaway. Well, yeah. Well, I wasn't sure, so I asked anyways. <laughs> Did Albacore wreck Taiho? I mean... I, I really wish I... Uh, that was taught in history class. Imperial Japanese Navy, I see. I, I know about the big stuff. You know, like the big wars and the Pearl Harbor thing. and But I, I don't really know these intimate details like the ones you're describing. Honestly, I wish that they taught like those interesting tidbits back in history class when I was back in school. Oh, I've been so much more interested in that. I mean, I love history and I'm very much interested in it, but I feel like, I feel like some of the teachers just suck the fun out, out, out of history class and just made it so dry. Now on, so okay. 
No. Terry, shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Let's see. Hit the fire refueling tanks on the Taiho, and, and because of bad training on the Japanese part, the fire spread. Uh, So it was basically a smart hit from the U.S. A uh, U.S. ship. And bad training from the Japanese. It's a combination of two factors. At least that's based on my, uh, based on like what you're telling me. Interesting. There we go. And synthesis. The tonnage ratios of the Pacific were not. Oh. You have piqued my interest. I should turn in the fire rock and lavender before I do anything further. Just that way I can free up a little bit of inventory space. Yeah, I will, I will do that. <laughs> high ratio kill is useless. Uh, another high ratio kill? Like, what, like a lot of... So, what one side's kill count versus the other? I'm assuming. USS Archerfish versus IJN and Shinano. I, I am terribly sorry if I butchered Japanese names. <laughs> See, is in fact the highest tonnage ratio kill even up to today. That's impressive. I Niv, a Yamato class carrier, and Archerfish was. Archerfish scored a solo kill. I see. Oh, you has returned. How was your stream, Niv? I noticed that you decided to do some this morning. Hopefully, you didn't strain yourself too much. Because <laughs> I, I know you were not feeling too hot the other night. Really fun? Hey, let's go. Miner, level 27. I acquire auto sneak. About time. Oh, I see. Wait, didn't you did mention to me that forest parents are a little bit strict or, or sorry, a little bit of an understatement. Very strict on her. If I'm not mistaken. I feel bad for her. Yeah, I had to cut it shorter than two hours. Well, hey, at least you- at least you got to spend time. That- that's- that's honestly better than nothing. And having fun at all is- it's good to have. Period. Ugh, they really need to relax a little bit. I mean, I may not know the whole story, but at least based on what you're, you're telling me, they need they do need to relax a little bit. Sixty-five thousand ton ship versus a one thousand five hundred ton sub. Wow. Well, good on archer fish, I guess. That's basically like a, a, a mouse staring down like a, a lion and then killing the lion somehow. 
how did they manage to do it? But what, what I'm get, I'm assuming they like struck in some key places, because to take down something of that like magnitude, it it, it requires some precision. Why am I crafting in a dark corner? I prefer crafting in a dark corner. I like my peace and quiet. <laughs> yeah, hence the tonnage ratio. I, I get you. you. You'd be brave and craft in front of the etherite tomato? Well, to each their own. But I prefer this corner because... I tend to get my peace and quiet. <laughs> okay, now to start making stuff. Steel goggles is up first, I think. Which requires bomb ash, iron ore, and lens. Steel goggles. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to make some steel stuff. Hold up. Steel ingots. Oh, that's why I needed bomb ash. <laughs> Six broadside torpedo hits that hit squishy spots. Oh, I see. So, weakness in the structure. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I need iron ore specifically. Ah! I have to go back. And I also have to get more bomb ash, too. Hold on, is there a vendor that sells bomb ash? Is it- is it- uh, <laughs> uh, I misunderstood my shopping list. Does the Alchemist Guild have bomb ash? I wonder. I know I'm gonna have to go get some more iron ore though. Ugh. <sighs> Got a little messing up. Thought I was done. Alright, get supplier, please tell me I have bomb ash so I don't have to run around to get those. Arr. Somebody's gotta sell some bomb ash. Ugh. Welp. Boy love is Marjorie at 18. Uh, back to the Sigoli Desert I go. Forgotten Springs. Hmm. <sighs> What the world is going on? <laughs> uh. 
thought if Gabby came here. <laughs> Give me a minute, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I know, my model likes to spaz out every time I get up. <laughs> I think I can make some chain of copper in here. At least I can do that. Yeah, I like enchanted copper ink. It makes me feel fancy. Like I have the coolest ink ever. <laughs> I want all high quality ink. Nothing but the best. Yes, thank you, tomato. Thank you. Okay, I made some enchanted copper ink. Sophie, stop scratching my ear. You're gonna make it irritated. <sighs> I'm 
She has some like minor ear issues, but we, we make sure to take care of it, but she always has this habit of like trying to scratch it every now and then though. Yeah, and we have to make sure she doesn't do it too much. Vlog Ashla. Oh, right. Now we just need to make an engraved one. There we go. Such little progress. Thank you, Master's Men, for existing. <laughs> Helps in a pinch like this. Okay. Grave Leather Grimoire is done. So I can strike that off the list. Goat skin breeches. Um, where's the owl goat leather? Uh, ah, it's here. Goat skin breach. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Time to get crafting. E okay. That's all done. Now to shove this into the armory chest. I think I'm gonna have to go normal quality on this one. Ugh. Most likely.
I'll try my best to make sure it's high quality. Yeah, there we go. Huzzah! Now I can get rid of the crow feathers. <laughs> Well, why'd you open my door? Yes, hello. Final. I'll give you a head pet. Oh, the good is good. Here we go. They're probably gonna start barking. Portraits. Eh. I have a habit of just generally keeping my portraits up to date because I do not like it when they do not update. <laughs> Earn subtones. Did I do those? I don't think I did. I might have to search up. Yeah, I need to have some iron plates. As well as bronze rings. Time to bust out the goldsmith. Oh, wait, I mean armor. <laughs> Oop. I think I'll just- I'll do two, just to be safe. Hard leather, iron plates. I have to say, waste knot's actually quite handy.
Hey. Level 21. Learn the great strides. Okay. Iron plates to uh, one bronze ring and hard leather. Look at me, Nilf. I'm doing it. I have successfully crafted this. Is an armory chest? Go away. Now the last two things I need to get are steel goggles and a linen turban. I'm gonna let myself get distracted for like one minute. <laughs> Yay, I made something new. I also kind of want to use up the beeswax. <laughs> another one of these and just sell it why say no to xp Okay, vendor, hello, I need you. Oh wait, I think the vendor's, yeah, it's right there. Merchant and vendor. Have this and that. And that.
Um, anything else I want to get rid of? Um, I need to get a lot of bomb ash. Can I even train my blue, blue mage out here? I don't think it'd be a wise idea because it's like level 30s out here. <laughs> my ninja can handle it though. You look so weird. Die. No crystals? Bad. I'll just kill all the fire sprites on the way. <laughs> Because I know higher level recipes will require like crystals or clusters and so on and so forth. So I I'm just picking it up since I'm just happen to be passing by. It's called being an opportunist. <laughs> Besides, my future self will eventually thank me. learn blaze spikes from a bomb I don't know all of what a blue mage can learn but you know what I really like the concept of blue mage it's kind of cool that you know you're learning it in a non-traditional way I guess I know I did that all wrong, but oh well. The important thing is that I'm getting stuff. my numbers on my keyboard a little bit more. <laughs> I'm so used to doing this all by mouse. You know, it's just the way I've always done it. Smoke bomb, I will need all the ash you have to offer. The ash will not be used for explosives, I promise. Although, I don't think you really care. <laughs> Shiba! I have 14 bomb ash so far. That is not enough for my soul. 
How dare I be just so destructive? I know. Actually, fun fact. I'm doing these guys a favor. Because these things are a problem for them. <laughs> hey, Shiba, guess what? Nip said hi to you. He probably doesn't care. Or understand. I did not mean to hit second wind. Lovely. Now I gotta wait every, a couple minutes till I get it back. Oh no, she's just being a dog, Nymph. What else do you expect her to do? What, cat caught your tongue? Oh wait, you don't have a cat though. Mm. Goodbye. Twenty bombash. Bye. Come on, I need the bomb ash. That's not what I wanted to press, but okay. I went to that time though. Shiva, it's just another dog outside. Calm down. <laughs> Truly does bark at everything that moves. Even when I get up and get out of my room, she merely starts harassing me. 
I'm not sure how to discipline her on it. I love going in circles. You get to go around over and over again, and over and over again, and, and, and it, it never ends. Yeah, you know, those crazy ones. Come here. I has a rabbit on my head now. Yup. Bork bork. <laughs> This is why I like fish more. At least they don't bark at you. Or at something. They just give you a soulless look. Need a rabbit model at my head? I don't know about that one, chief. What's up, my dude? Thank you for the raid and entrusting me with your community. Hello, I am Arashi, your resident spectral mage. And we're playing some Final Fantasy XIV online today. What have you been up to? You gotta tell me. Or not, that's fair too. <laughs> I've been running around in a circle for excuse the dog for the past five to ten minutes <laughs> beating the ever living snot out of these enemies so I could get bomb ash shadow of Mordor what got a Mordor <laughs> Honestly, maybe I should like commission somebody to make an emote of just Shiba doing the Bork. Uh, it, like the going nuts type of Bork. You beat it. Oh, you're, you're going for achievements? A hey, let's go. I respect a completionist. I need at least uh, add 20 more minutes into run around the circle. But... You don't like ring around the rosy? Pocket full of posies? Ashes, ashes, we all fall down? Weirdly fitting. <laughs> but hey, at least I can like hang out and talk while I'm doing this. Just a plus. My ninja's getting some XP. 
I'm sometimes getting bomb ash. And I get to go a little bit insane. It's a win-win. Honestly, I, 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 as much as I do like going for achievements, it's not necessarily my top priority in games. That being said, I think there is one game that I definitely want to try to get the, all the achievements in, and that's uh, Armello. The achievements I have left in that game are some of the harder ones. <laughs> Unfortunately. Like... I thankfully I managed to get drop it like it's rot, which is basically like have like a ton of rot, like a certain amount, and then you you just suddenly get rid of all of it. I've only managed to do it once, because the event you need for it it doesn't always happen, or the item. It's very RNG. <laughs> I can't remember what achievements I still have left in Normello. What? what? What's up, Shiba? What? What do you need? Show me. You went outside? I, I think I think she's trying to get me to tell her to go outside. Okay, okay, I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> Well, don't worry. I fulfill the get up and stretch by taking the dogs out. <laughs> Would you guys, uh... I don't know how long I plan on t uh, being outside for. There we go. Okay. I uh, I'm a load up puzzle deck for you guys. Uh, you got all the lurkers. You gotta do something. Uh, that's f honestly fair. Happy lurking, my dude, and best of luck with whatever you gotta do. I have to go take the dogs out. Yes, Shiba. I know she's looking at me expectantly. <laughs>
All right, I'm back. I'm sorry, guys. It took way too long, more than what I'd like. It was just like one thing after another. <laughs> okay, first I took the dogs out. Then I had to clean up poop that apparently I it, it was in a house. And on top of that, Shiba decided to eat some Timothy hay that the rabbit kicked out of the the indoor hutch and then I had to clean up that vomit. Also, I had to deal with get my sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! Kisses! No! No! <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you forgot you put your speaker on high? <laughs> Well, yeah, that's definitely a good way to get yourself jump scared. Time to fix my mood a bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, my sister and her boyfriend were arguing loudly, too. I didn't notice until I took the headset off and went to go get food. Because this game, thankfully, helps block things out. Mind you, my headset isn't like, uh, it, it doesn't fully block at all outside sound. Which is fine since my house is usually quiet, but it's not so great when, <laughs> when, when situations like that happen and, you know, people are arguing loudly in the house. My mood's kind of okay. I am a little not pleased with what has happened in the house so far, but uh, it is what it is, you know. Besides, I can do more Final Fantasy now. <laughs> Oh yeah, another thing. I'm thinking of ending the stream at like 5 o'clock, so that's like about an hour and a half from now, I think. Like, roughly speaking. Nine zero and dash four and die. Is there any bomb ash enough? I don't know. Hey, can you do me a favor and actually, like, drop stuff? I would very much like that. I require your innards. <laughs> You're being so stingy.
41 ball mash. Should that be enough? Most riveting gameplay ever. <laughs> but tis part of the grind. Come on, fork over your ball mash. Or I'll kill the rest of them. And you won't like it. <laughs> ah, get wrecked. You almost scared me. Almost. Almost. Forty three bomb mash, why only forty three? Ah. Oh, yeah, I do have a question if anybody's still here. When d does the supply and provisioning stop reset? I'd like to know for like future reference so I can plan around it in case I decide to do more turning in stuff for craft or <laughs> XP. Hi, Sophie. What you up to? Hi. Yes, it's good to see you. I'll give you some pets. You're such a cuddle bug, but you're also way too full of energy. <laughs> Most energetic dog I've ever seen. Uh one ball mash for every two iron ore. The reason why I wanna get so much bomb ash in the first place is because I I want to make excess steel ingots. And the reasoning behind that is for XP. Hmm. 
I'm gonna try pulling two of these. That worked out pretty all right. Hey, you want me to play ball with you, Sophie? I mean, you got it. What? What? Go get your ball. Go get it. Want me to throw it? You gotta give it to me. Sophie, stop trying to play hard to get. Do you want me to throw it or not? <laughs> okay, thank you. I can't throw through tiny gaps in a door for deadly squat. Sophie, your precious treasure. Goof dog is goof, yes, very much so. <laughs> she fits in the family. <laughs> Still gets hugs, oh yeah. He does get her cuddles. Wow, even for a single target DPS, that's like nuts. Feels pretty good. Wait, let me throw it again? Oh. Yay, I got through the doorway. <laughs> I wonder what the drop chance is on these. Like percentage or whatever. Oh, you brought me another one, huh? Sophie, stop pulling it away from me. <laughs> I love how she just, like, runs out, expecting me to throw it, even though I don't necessarily throw it. And she starts looking for it. <laughs> uh, uh, I got a text message with Okay. I'd say I'd get like maybe 70 bomb ash and I would call it good.
Six more to go. <laughs> I love how it's like three and a half hours worth of me just running <laughs> in circles and other things. Uh. Hey, hey, on the bright side, at least we're, we're, it's kind of chill. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Sophie? You want me to throw it again? You, you gotta give it to me. Okay. Yes! I got it through the door. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> Actually, that's true. I'm not the only one who does grindy things for three hours of stream. Honestly, playing in an MMO, the grindy bits are a given. Sometimes I'm just worried whether you guys are entertained or not. I care about you guys. Willow's electric key. Oh, wait, you mean your cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You told me how it's uh, how your cat screams at it to turn it on, even though it doesn't work. <laughs> that cracks me up, honestly. I've never heard of a cat doing that, ever. <laughs> She's only had it for a month and she's starting to scream at it already? Oh, that's priceless. <laughs> Doesn't even think about trying to use the switch on it, huh? Hurricane Fiona? Wait, how long ago did that happen? I only, like, partially keep up with, like, hurricanes. I- I'm not in a very pro- I'm not in a hurricane-prone area, so I usually don't have to worry about them. I'm far enough inland where it, it's usually not an issue. Thank you, Appalachian Mountains! It gets better. Oh, I love this. Yelled at the control box for it too? My dude, that cat does not think. <laughs> you don't even think about trying to paw it and to turn it on. Oh. <laughs> but hey, at least it gives you no shortage of laughs. That's gonna be funny like that. Oh, there we go. We got 72. Okay. What's the other bit I had to get? I, I was so focused on, like, mindlessly wrecking these things that I forgot what the other ingredient is. Oh, wait. It's iron ore. I remember. You know, the control box is what makes it, makes it warm. Hmm.
Fiona was September 2022. Uh, you're right. You had no winter, no internet for the enti an entire week after? Dude. Hey, on the bright side, at least you're living and breathing. <laughs> I think that's like priority number one in any natural disaster, to be honest. No, not the Spotify! <laughs> you want to hear background music? Oh. <laughs> Kato like background music. Hey, on the bright side, if you have like uh, music in like, I don't know, like a music library on your phone, you can always play that for your cat if all else fails. Um, was it Eastern thing? It was Western. Yeah. Because Eastern's where the Black Mage stuff is. And at top right corner. Okay. It's raining in Thanalan. Whoa. <laughs> That's how you basically solved it. Hey. Her preferred music is on your sister's tablet. Oh. What is her preferred music? Is there a specific genre she fancies? Specific songs? It's interesting, actually. Hi, Sophie. What's up? Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> she walked up to me put her two, front two paws on my arm that's resting on, on my armrest <laughs> wagged her tail and then left when when she's with your sister bts <laughs> Another K-pop, I see. <laughs> it's just it's just something in general. Fair enough. I look so silly in this gear right now. How am I going to redeem this? <laughs> Uh. Nope. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello, Otto. <gasps> Otto! It's been so long. I miss you, dude. I, I try to make sure I keep uh, lurks up for you all the time. <laughs> How are you doing? How did, I think you're on Destiny 2, if I'm not mistaken. How did it go? Yeah, I'll, I'll try about to give you a quick shout out, my homie. Welcome in. Hello, everybody. I am Arashi, your resident spectral mage. Okay, Sophie, please. Not right now. I'm trying to introduce myself to these people. <laughs> Sophie's Sophie's my uh, my Morky, the the littlest of the two. The other dog I have is Shiba. If you want me to throw the ball, you gotta give it to me. Stop being such a tease! 
There you go. <laughs> I'm playing some Final Fantasy today, as you can, as you can tell. Oh yeah, I think um, I, I still had auto mode on. Uh, uh, auto mode. <laughs> I haven't touched Destiny too. No, I mean I'll be honest with you. But then again, I've been going through it lately with like life stuff. And on top of that, this has been my latest obsession. <laughs> Actually, I should see what my playtime is on this. Because it, it, it will tell you if you do a slash uh, uh, playtime in the in the in-game chat. See, total playtime, 19 days, 4 hours, 54 minutes. Trans translate that however you will. Regardless, that's a good chunk of hun uh, a few hundred hours. I <laughs> uh, hope it's going well for me. Uh, I'm I'm working on it. This organization is bugging me. Oh yeah, I think I. Uh... You're you're doing like Crota stuff, aren't you? Keep working on it. <laughs> Got this. Thank you, Otto. Seriously, thank you. Actually, uh, recent developments. Uh, went to therapy a few days ago. Learned some things about myself, and learned I apparently have a certain disorder. <laughs> yeah, it's like the root of a lot of problems. Okay, okay, I'll throw the ball, Sophie. And, um, last night, I also ordered a laverless input device, or a controller, whatever you refer it to as. So, fighting games. <laughs> I'll have something dedicated for that. Because I, I, I struggle... Like as a beginner, I struggle with the controller. I, I'm I'm very much a mouse and keyboard player. <laughs> the only things I ever really use a controller for are like Metroidvanias and like platformer stuff. Like you know, uh, Hollow Knight and the Ori games, like Ori and the Will of the Wisp and Blind Forest. Yeah, and apparently Leverless has some similarities to mouse and keyboard, so. I'm, I, I'm thinking that it'll probably be a bit of a smoother transition. And yeah, it is a bit comforting to know what's causing that. It, it's just nice to have answers. Because it means you can like narrow down and double down on what you need to do. Ooh. I've been at the, uh... At least for today, I've been at, like, the grindy bits. Oh, wait, I didn't need to do that. Oops. You gotta lurk for now. Okay. <laughs> My dude, let's let's talk more, uh, sometime soon. Seriously, I've been wanting to catch up with you. <laughs> uh. Thank you for the, the well wishes. Appreciate it. Mmm. I love walking into rocks and things. <laughs> Alright, where's the iron ore at? 33. If I remember correctly, the recipe I'm going for, it's one bomb ash and then two iron ore. I think it's to make steel ingots. So I need... Supposedly, I need double the amount of bomb ash. Because it's like a it's a 1 to 2 ratio. So every one of these, I need to double the amount of iron... Uh, Essentially. So it's 72 times 2. <laughs> I think that's like a little bit over 140. Like... Uh, 144, I think? My mental math is not the best, but... <laughs> 
At least I can do basics. I, I I've just never really been good at doing math on the fly. My my brain just doesn't keep compute math the same way other people or other people's brains just do. English. <laughs> Most of my stream has been going back and forth between mineral deposits and, and murdering all these bombs in Sigoli Desert. Because uh, I'm doing... I'm doing it to turn in for like something that's like called like s supply and provisioning. So you, you get certain... Like you need to do... get like certain items. And then you turn them in, and you respect you know each item that's like associated with like certain crafters like they'll they'll get the respective XP, and you also get extra XP for higher quality items that you submit, which is why I'm out here in the middle of the desert mining ore, so I can craft this stuff myself. On days I'm feeling lazy, though, I just try to get what I can from vendors. Uh. Hmm. No, thank you. I'd like to dye this so it looks less silly. Maybe? What other dyes do I have? I mean, I could use the rest of the lilac purple dye, but... Eh, I kind of want to hold on to it. Can I cast a glamour on this to make it look slightly less weird? I can't really win here, can I? Nope, that looks silly. That also looks silly. Nope. Welp. I'm kind of stuck like this for now. Wait a second, I'm level 27 minor, which means I could probably get better pants. Because it's like roughly like every like five, six levels that there's a better item, I think. I mean, I'll worry about that after I get the stuff I need. It's so quiet <laughs> during the night time. Uh, it's killing me a little bit. Yeah, there's a deposit over there. Epic. Chivo, where are you getting we're so worked up over? <sighs>
there we go. Problem solved. Sort of. <laughs> the 90 iron ore. And the deposit that's hiding from my eyes. <laughs> okay. Other side and do 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 Epic. Now, is there anything else I can shove on here? No. <laughs> okay. Deposit, please give me good stuff. Sophie, what are you doing? Huh. What? Yes, hi. <laughs> I feel like I should get myself into a dungeon just to break out the monotony a little bit. But I'm genuinely almost done with my craft stuff. I just need to get a whole bunch of iron ore to finish off what I need to do. Almost 144, let's go. I got scammed. It was a 70% chance to get extra. For each hit. <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough iron ore for now. <laughs> Finally. Alright, time to pull up my craft list.
The only thing I can't really craft yet is linen turban. Because... I don't think I have access to flax just yet. I think I remember that's the ingredient I'm missing out on. It requires a leveled botanist. I need to go back in here so I can teleport to Sapphire Avenue Exchange. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, take, okay. <laughs> I have sippeth. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, a ladies event is going on and Easter stuff. Alright, time to make that steel stuff. Steel ingots. Can I also do it on armor? Oh, I can. I don't think my armor is... I mean, I... I can't... Nah, I can't do it. What about blacksmith? Can I do it on blacksmith? Yes, I can. I have enough to do it. I need to do the quick I need to do the regular synthesis version of it first before I can even think about doing quick synthesis because you got to do the recipe at least once before you can put it on auto. Okay, waste not. Great strides, innovation. Not enough CP. I managed to eke, uh, eke it out. <laughs> Called smart use use of uh, your skills. <laughs> Wait, how much XP that gave me? It said it gave me five thousand eight hundred sixty for I think the crafting log stuff. Gave gave me a base of. Four thousand three hundred eighty-three. I see. Five thousand eight hundred forty-eight. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> uh,
I'm gonna do that for increased craftsmanship. Hunter has 61 craftsmanship, let's go. You know, if I think I, if I think that if I was a little lower, but it, I wouldn't be able to pull this off. Like I, I'm basically using like all of my CP for those crafting points. I think I should do the rest on quick synthesis, maybe. to move for rain like I, I like it the rain outside for me I either prefer it to be sunny weather or straight up raining slash thunderstorming there's no in between because I hate cloudy weather because the sky is so boring and it feels more dreary that way <laughs> At least do something, Sky. Ma'am, this is my crafting corner. Please leave. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hey, I leveled up.
Almost done. There we go. And I only have four extra iron ore. I think I'll just put the rest of it into like an iron ingot. trying to think oh yeah i need to repair my gear oh uh, yeah now that i'm thinking about it i need to do my i need to do my mini character pot stuff I haven't crashed out of the storm, but like all of these are basically at 100% in your spirit bond. There we go. To update the portrait. Okay, back to the corner. Okay, we got the steel ingots. The thing that I need to craft. Steel goggles, but which fashion was it? Not cloth craft. Not this. What is this? That's pretty. I like that in my home. I think I might have an easier time finding it if I look under the glass, clear glass lens. The 
heal goggles. Yes, right here. Should I have everything I need? Yes. Still plate. Uh... No recipe to display. What? Okay, so where do I find it then? <laughs> well, time to consult Google. Where to find the steel plate? Final Fantasy Fourteen. I'm a job vendor. It's also a level twenty-seven armor thing. Think. You know what, I'll, I'll turn in when I can first. Ugh. Crafting pains. Oh yeah, that's right, I have a sandwich. I forgot about it. Should take a, a few bites, like this is my lunch. Are you kidding me? Reset! Okay, now I am... <laughs> All that grappling for nothing!
very annoyed. Already fourteen fifty six. think we really need yeah sure well, apparently there's more <gasps> narcanist interesting The cattle. Oh, he's right there. In Is this the only way I can dismiss somebody? No, I mean... Welp. There's more enlistment papers? <laughs> Personally, I'm okay with two marauders. <laughs> uh. 
I mean, it would be okay to have some variety, but... I can just change classes on people. Fourteen fifty four forty. Okay, uh, I guess I'll just send people on missions and stuff. I need to level up people. Okay, I think they'll be fine with this. We'll be back in 18 hours. What am I holding on to that M number for? Uh, these, that's why. It keeps saying that. I want it to shut up. <laughs> you know what? I give up on the crafting stuff, at least for now. Give me all that crafting for nothing. I'm not sure what I want to do. I've been so focused on, on the Moogle event that I'm like... Eh? Um... I think Tomato said that the recent events in... Gridania, if I'm not mistaken, like the amphitheater area. Ethernet over here.
Interesting. The princesses and the eggs. <laughs> Okay. Welcome, my friend. I take it the hatching tide decorations have caught your eye? It <laughs> warms my heart to greet yet another reveler, for I am the host of this event. Jili Alia Po, at your humble service. If I am not mistaken, you're an adventurer, yes? Might I have your name? <laughs> this is part of Adel uh, Noxadrin. Losadris, yes. That's Adrian, a festive name to be sure. I hope you shall f find all things hatching tied to your liking. In fact, I know you shall. For I have seen it in a dream clear as the one I had many moons ago, where the twelve archons delivered unto me a prophecy, which inspired this occasion. I have worked tirelessly since that night to do their words justice. This year... It was again a dream that sparked my imagination. Shut up, Siri. A dream of Gubu, massive and marvelous, standing upon the stage where else but in Olda. So many moms away. Wreathed in radiant flowers of pink. Darling Gubu held in her hands an egg decorated most lav lavishly. And there is but one time of year when the sandy brown of that city is accented by peach blossoms in full bloom. Yes, I speak of Little Lady's Day. The message of Mistress Alifol's dream is clear. Combine the spirit of Hatching Tide and Little Lady's Day to create the most exciting day that the jewel of a city has ever seen. Naturally, we sought out those in charge of the event and brought our proposal before them. It is a pleasure to make your appearance. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me, the dogs. <laughs> Master Nox <laughs> Actor, uh, uh, hello? What? No, no, I'm just an adventurer, dude. I have the honor of acting as this year's royal sensual, and it is my duty to bring smiles and cheers to all the ladies of the realm. What is little lady today, you ask? Why it is a day when the maidens of Eorzea are doted upon as princesses by their very own loyal sensual. Mr. Sallypole's proposal was quite unprecedented, and so confident was she in her vision that she had already secured the services of a performer and his gubu companion before meeting with us. <laughs> I regret to say not all in will not share her in her conviction. Many doubt the safety of such an act, which has brought our plans for Little Lady's Day to a standstill. Uh, trepidation is not without cause, mind you. Some 15 years ago, a supposedly tame Gubu ran amok in the city streets, causing untold harm. When essential formed us of these circumstances, I got to thinking. We could hold a hatching tide event here in Gridania, with the Gubu as the main attraction. Okay. Not only would this lift the spirits of Gridania's people, but it would provide, or prove, to those in Ulda that Gubu poses no danger. Surely that would put any doubt to the rest. In fact, the performers had already arrived. Nonora and I were treated to a display of their show, and I must say, I have never have I seen a group of so pretty and sweet. Out of the path forward we, we could have taken, this seemed to be the only one which might please all parties. I came to Grudania at once, so I could act as a witness for my peers in Ulda. Since you're here, you might, uh, might you accompany me to the show? Someone as well versed in this realm's beast can as you 
my senior lady qualify to tell us just how docile this Gubu is. Uh, okay. Expect way a few eggs from the <laughs> I'm going to choose the slightly nicer answer. As would I. Well, I'm certain there is nothing to fear. Having a stout arm by my side would be most reassuring. Well then, all is settled. The show of a lifetime awaits at Bent Branch Meadows. You had best not tarry. Agreed. Let us make our way there and speak with Aldemund. The performer in charge. Oh, <laughs> I can hardly wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why? Why? <laughs> I get out of the cutscene and then I see that aura. <laughs> Dude, it sounds le legit like elevator music. <laughs> da, da, <yeah. laughs> or, or like you know, so or are you possibly hear it in like some convenience store or clothing store, maybe one that perhaps like I don't know. So let's close it, um... <laughs> Maybe a discount price. I know, incredibly specific, I know. Yay, level 15, thank you. Aldemund. Oh, I didn't see you there. Can we help you? Greetings. I am the Rudo Shenshaw, in charge of making Little Ladies Day most memorable for all ladies of the realm. And Mistress Alipo has informed us that you have quite the show prepared for us. Uh, we've been waiting for you. You'll be hard-pressed to pick your jaw off the floor after you see what my PD has in store for you. I've been watching over her ever since the day I found her wandering the wilderness all by her lonesome. We spent ages looking for a family, but now I suppose we're all each other has. Petey, a lovely name to be sure. And as far as are, are they peach blossoms? I dare say she is the very picture of a little ladies' day princess. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, and I know PD is too. She's thought of little else since the moment Miss Aliapoa came to us with her peculiar request. There's nothing in the world we would love more than hearing an audience cheer. And I think this time we'll learn that and then some. Call this one egg surprise. Go on, PD. Okay. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. That was astounding. Impressive, ain't it? And all it took was a few glamour prisms. Of course, that wasn't where the genius was required. It took us days and nights of racking up brains to figure out how to capture the spirit of two celebrations. In the end, though, I think we did about as good as a job as could have been expected. Uh, here comes the rub. Ever since we arrived in Gridania, Petey's been on a, a little on edge. 
hate to see her like this, but I think I figured out what's causing it. As you just saw, she's got no problem performing in front of an audience or two, of two. When a whole gaggle of revelers show up not too long ago, she just froze up. I see, so she, she must not be used to such large crowds. Luckily, I managed to save the show by climbing atop her head. I set her mind at ease and helped her find her courage. But I ain't as young as I used to be, and my knees are already crying out in protest at the prospect of climbing her again. But you, on the other hand, I reckon you've got plenty of moms left in those Avenger legs of yours. Might I trouble you to join our merry troop and support Petey during our star turn? All you have to do is climb atop her head and head towards the crowds. Show them our act and tell the spectators to come for to me for an egg of their own. Still plenty of to go around. Okay. Seems like a reasonable request. Okay, people, can I please... Oh. Okay. Whee! The way those arms are just flailing. <laughs> Egg surprise. Uh... Oh wait, it's here. <laughs> what? What? What did I just see? Ah, this must be that performing Gubu I heard so much about. Good show, good show. I think I'll get an egg of my own to remember this by. You're welcome. Okay, now where's everybody else? Okay, this way? Get it. That was amazing! The rabbits were so adorable. And that crown of peach blossoms is so pretty. I wonder if they get them out with the eggs. Let's go find out. Yes. I don't I don't know about the crowns, but I know they definitely give Easter eggs. <laughs> okay, chocobo keep person. Oh my sirs, what matter of uh, Oh, you're promoting hatching died. Uh, yes, yes. I, I knew that of course. Splendid trick that was, truly. I never knew Gobu's to be adept at anything besides eating, but you have expanded my horizons. Mayhap I'll take partake in the festivities this year after all. Woo! Okay, can I, I? I need to. Please just. <laughs> and it looks like Petey's managed to conquer her fears. Let's hope these ovations are enough to conquer the seneschals. horn a 
Although I've been a, by a bystander in affairs so far, what I've seen has been truly inspiring. Pity is also is possessed not only of a kind heart, but the soul of an interior as well. I would have her be the main attraction of our stage in Ulda. On behalf of the Lays Day Planning Committee, I invite you to our city as honored guests. Well, I'm not one to decline such an eager invita invitation. <laughs> I didn't realize it was, it was the other guy. Consider it accepted. But first, I best tell Miss Alipo that she'll be needing more eggs. Go on to Oda. We'll find our w own way there before long. Wonderful. Then I shall depart at once and make the stage ready for your arrival. <clears throat> You've helped tremendously already, but there's no denying that Petey has taken a shine to you. May you watch over her and Ulda for a while, just until she becomes accustomed to the crowds. I mean, I don't mind. Second, guys. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's already five o'clock. <laughs> So maybe I can squeeze in one more of this event quest. Maybe. Uh, sealed uh Oh, is it specifically in the say? Yes, I can just use my return. Woo! Free teleportation! Ulda, the steps of Nald. Ah, you've arrived. You'll be glad to know I I've managed to win over the planning committee with my story of PD's show. Ulda's gates will be cast wide for her arrival. If she is amenable to the idea, I would have her be the star attraction on this year's stage. But the first order of the day is to spread the word. If we tell the citizens what we saw in Bent Branch Meadows, it is my hope that they will welcome PD with open arms. And if her show is a success, then we will have managed a celebration which spans from Gridania to Alda, painting smiles upon the faces of all the realm's little ladies and egg fanatics alike. I shall stay here and drum up what interest I can. Noxadrin, pray head to Steps of Thal and do the same. Meet me at the stage afterwards and together we can shower Petey with her applause. How's the event quest? Uh, I'd say it's pretty solid so far. Hello! Welcome in. I'm- I'm doing, uh... I've got some... <laughs> oh, I've, I've got so many thoughts in my mind right now. I need to, like, pick one and then speak it. 
<laughs> Hi, I'm Arashi. <laughs> okay, introduction there. <laughs> I like playing all sorts of things, but Final Fantasy XIV has been like my favorite for a good while now. And uh, plans for today. Yeah, words are hard. <laughs> Words, English. Uh, the plan. See, plans for today. I uh, I've got some things to do, so I was planning on streaming until five o'clock. So that's like in five minutes. Oh, you've been lurking for a minute. <laughs> get to get to meet one of my lurkers. Thank you. I'm always happy to have you around here, whether you're lurking or speaking. Welcome here, all the same. <laughs> But yeah, um, I, I'm pl I'm gonna be doing this. There's one more this quest right here, and then I'm gonna be calling it a calling it a night because I've got I I've got to be taking care of <laughs> I I gotta take care of my rabbit because uh, the other day I he he I think he injured himself like the night before. I, it's like some sort of scratch or whatever. And I, I have to, obey, I have to wash the wound a little bit. I mean, it's capped over, thankfully, so no bleeding. <laughs> uh, but af after I, I, I clean it, I gotta put some ointment on, and then I gotta clean up my room that I've been procrastinating on for months. <laughs> My rabbit needs a gooboo mount. Uh, <laughs> I think I think he'd be scared if he he tried to ride a gooboo. Good news is, I think he wouldn't mind um, being carried in the arms of anybody because he's a bit of a cuddler. <laughs> Seriously, like if you if you're not giving him attention and like head pats, like actively giving him head pats. He, he will love nibble you and be like, hey, hey, give me attention. Yeah, give me attention. And they're like, okay, fine. <laughs> he's an attention mooch, but he's adorable. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'd be comfortable riding on a gooboo's head. A cat role-playing as a rabbit? <laughs> oh no, maybe. A super, super cuddly ra uh, cat. <laughs> Rabbit. Goo partner, aren't they dangerous? I suppose a friend of mine was raving about the show she saw in Grutania. If it's the very same, I suppose it's worth a look. Excellent. I feel like I should dress for the occasion. You know what? Elves in and Wonderland mode activate. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I just re I just remember that I also need to catch up on thumbnails and uh, and posting my vods to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> my ADHD brain's overwhelmed. A kubu here in Ulda. <sighs> and George's up terrible memories of the rampage I witnessed as a child. How do you know that it won't happen again? Have you seen this gooboo with your very own eyes? Yeah, actually. Is that so? Well, I, I see no reason why you'd lie to me. Very well. I shall go. Perhaps in this way I can conquer my fears. Honestly, good on you, sit elegant citizen. <laughs> okay, there is one more over here. Do 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 do. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I love that song so much. <laughs> I don't know what to sing, so I end up defaulting to that. If you know the song, you know. Okay. 
I didn't know goobas were capable of anything more than mindless eating. Are you sure this show isn't just watching a beast chomping on hay? Cries of Rudane gave her a standing ovation. So... More than meets the eye. Well, when you put it that way... Besides, it's not as if I have aught else to do. Alright, look for me among the crowd. Woo! Time of Petey's performance draws near. Speak with the Royal Essential before she takes the stage. I really hope she doesn't get social anxiety like I do. Oh, dude, if it was just only me up on stage performing for everybody, I would freeze up so bad. <laughs> I, I would be less stressed if I were with somebody, though. Or, like, you know, having people I know vehemently supporting me. <laughs> oh. Reminds me all the times, like, uh, when I was, like, in marching band. You know, I was a band kid for, like, eight years, just to give a little context. Uh, four of those years were high school, four years in middle school. And during the marching band things, or parades... She would be cheering for me loudly, and then I would have to pretend I didn't know her. <laughs> and try and focus on what I'm doing. But I always gave her, like, the side eye, so, like, at least, like, half the time. <laughs> but you know, I will tell you what, though. It's nice knowing that I had support. You you'd be surprised, uh... How, how much, like, someone's presence can do wonders for your mental uh, state and just generally feeling encouraged and empowered to do stuff. So, I, I think the trope, like, uh, power of friendship is a very valid one. Despite how cheesy it may sound. Because while there's a lot of stuff that, you know, takes stuff on a physical level. A, a mental state is also part of it. Yeah, it's always good to have a champion in your life. <laughs> okay, now what on earth am I doing? <laughs> Emerald Avenue. I need to run this way. I'm so used to wandering around aimlessly doing whatever. Excuse me. Sorry if I made you yawn. <laughs> Killer McKeely. What a wonderful name. Hmm. You know, it'd be so nice if people gave a little bit of room. Oh, you think you made me yawn? I didn't even know you yawned. <laughs> oh, you yawned about 10 seconds before. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's that's funny coincidence right there. Let's see. Aw, oh, he's intimidated. It's okay. Of course, you could just hop up on her head and she'll calm down just like that. But we can't lean on you forever. Why don't you rally her spirits with some encouraging words, Nox Adrian? Seems she's warm to you, and I reckon she'd appreciate whatever you have to say. Uh, aw, poor thing. Come on, Petey, you can do it. You got it! Truth be told, this is her first time performing alone in front of so many people. I can see why her legs won't listen to her heart. Yeah, I remember 
remember how happy it made everyone in Gridania. It was a positive experience. The only difference is the location, pretty much. Grr. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Ugh. I have to say, those many rows of teeth are not flattering. <laughs> that did the trick. You only got a talent for lifting the spirits of downtrodden Noxagen. Uh, thank you. Okay. You are in your debt, truly. You're, you're welcome. Almost time. Lady Alipo should have arrived by now. Next, Adrian, pray join the bystanders and get Petey your heartiest cheer. Okay. <laughs> Even Goobers can d get stage fright. Huh. Oh, there's a destination. There we go. And for n and now for the final act, bedecked in blooming flowers. This Gubu princess has prepared something unforgettable for all the little ladies out there. Go get him, Petey. You got this. Yay. <laughs> this is just how I envisioned it in my dream. And to think I ever believed Goobas were not but wild beasts. Oh, I simply adore her. If hatching tide is even a half as thrilling as this show, I'd best catch the next airship to Gridania. <laughs> All is well that ends well. The well, ladies get a great show, and hatching tide gets more egg seekers. Their smiles are like so many flowers in full bloom. Petey will be a uh, talk of old Da for moons to come. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that she will, and that she will. I have to thank you, Miss Elliot Poe, for giving bo us both the chance to bring a little brightness to so many lives. Of course, I'll mention it. <laughs> Thank you, Petey, for bringing joy to the citizens of Olda, especially its little ladies. I think that was like a slight nod from it. <laughs> I don't speak Gubu. <laughs> That was better than I could have imagined. Hatching Tide and Little Ladies Day both will be remembered as the highlights of the year. Couldn't have done it without your help, Noxedrin. We'll both be looking back on this experience with fondness for the rest of our lives. Speaking of which, I've got to think and maybe it's time I leave this performance business behind me. And let Petey spread her wings. I think she'd be more than happy by your side if you'll have her. What? As for me, I have it in mind to find a place to settle down and rest these old bones. I'd hate to tie Petey down with just w just when she's found her passion. If you bring her along on your adventures, she'll be able to deliver smiles to quarters of all the world I've only heard tales of. Are you sure? I mean, this is your friend we're talking about here. Can't deny how you feel the tendrils wound has taken out my heart. Mind they'll lose their grip so long as I know Petey's with you. <laughs> I look forward to hearing of our exploits as why while the day's away. That is an awkward sentence. To <laughs> 
I mean, okay. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but I am quite in Gridania. Renata must know just how perfectly my dream manifested. <laughs> Give the lesser regards, eh? I'll stay here and hold on until the facilities end, and who knows, maybe longer. Oh, okay. Best of luck to you, mister. And with that, allow me to thank you personally, Noxedrin. No princess in all the realm could have asked for a more devoted social. And that includes Petey. Seeing you dote upon her so dutifully remind me why I volunteered for this position in the first place. <laughs> the PD's show has concluded. Little Lady's Day has not. Pray enjoy all that we have prepared. And don't be a stranger in Gridania either. I have to say, this gives me vo good voice acting practice. <laughs> I want to I wanna take a, a stab at some voice acting in the future. Yay! Oh, that was it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 I guess so. It's a lot of, like, you know, these types of ones tend to... <gasps> There's an Allison. Look right there. Look! Look! Oh, she's running. Oh, sorry. Bye! <laughs> You don't see him too often. I do have an expressive voice, thank you. <laughs> How long did the full event take you? Um, from start to finish? Um, I think like maybe half an hour to... Half an hour maybe? I just like straight doing like, you know, this quest line. Let's say like half an hour to an hour, maybe. It's not too bad. Oof. It feels like my voice needs a rest. <laughs> hey, since, uh, actually, we only ran like 12 ish minutes over. Yeah, I, I say you can complete complete the event in like a reasonable amount of time. That's not too bad. You don't have to like worry about any combat. And the minimum you need for the to be able to do the quest stuff is like level fifteen. And you, you just need like um, I'd say. I say like at least access to both Uldah and Gridania if you want to do it, and it starts in the old in the Gridania Amphitheater. Oh, without further ado, I suppose I should be reading out for today. Ah, you're in Shadowbringers, hey, let's go. You should be okay. Yeah, I figured. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Once I get a more stable income, I'm most definitely getting a subscription for this game. I love it to pieces. Okay. Um, hmm. Yep. I'm gonna think i call it here. Just for today, at least. I will be back Saturday for some more. Friday, I'm a little bit busy. <laughs> unfortunately. And... Uh, how do I pronounce... Yeah, good thing I have like 400 hours of free content. <laughs> yeah. I, ha I have to ask, how do I pronounce your name? Is it... Sunon? Sunan? Sunon? I'm trying. I, I, English. I know. Sun19. Oh, I see. Okay. Thank you. Is it alright if I call you Sun for short? Or Sun One? <laughs> I got an itch. Speaking of which, I appreciate you swinging by. It's, it's always nice to see new people. 
Sounds fun. A. Let's go. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for Saturday, but I can tell you for a fact that I definitely want to stream Final Fantasy at least like once a week. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Get ourselves to some rating. If you got any rate suggestions, feel free to let me know. Also, <laughs> you're also welcome to hit up Discord in case... It's just a free invitation, but I I do post my schedule reliably there. In addition to posting it on Twitter. And uh, don't expect me to... Do it super lively on YouTube because I forget. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like a free invitation and stuff. You don't have to join if you don't want to. You have, you have no idea for race suggestions? That's okay. I always like to give the option to viewers just in case because... To be honest, I, even I don't know who I want to raid <laughs> some of the time. Ooh. You guys want to hang out in Sire Spider stream? He's doing some Final Fantasy stuff. I think he... Oh, he's doing the Zadnor duels. Oh, or Coefficient. Um, he, he's on his Day 10, like, Final Fantasy 14 stuff. Uh, let's see, there's also ferrets we could duel. Hmm. All right, I, I'm gonna go ahead and get on my stream ending screen so I don't... <laughs> so I can finally uh, take down my model. Bye bye <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Thanks, son. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys Saturday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>